So the last piece of the music studio is GH Tunes. And GH Tunes is a user community. It's a user community of, of basically user Guitar Hero created uh, music out there. And it could be any style. I mean, as you've seen, I can make electronic music, obviously. I can make rock music. I can make hip hop, country, really whatever you want to make. Uh, you can finish your creation, polish it up in GH Mix if you want. Then you can make an album cover. We have a layered graphic system that can be used throughout the game. It's used for your band logo. It's used for uh, faces on your guitar. You can put it on your drums. Uh, you can put it on the wall. You can do anything with it. It's 40 different layers of graphics uh, and fonts and text. You can make an album cover. Put that up with your song. Um, now it's like I've got my song up. It's got my album cover. Other people can go on and go on to GH Tunes and actually download your, your song. Um, when they download your song, they can either play it you know, by themselves, or if it's got enough parts in the song, they can play it as a band. They can then rate the song, and then you can move up or down in the, rank, in the overall you know, uh, rankings for that. So when I'm searching for songs, as a user, I have an endless supply of music, of user-generated content. I can go and search, for, uh, search by genre. I can search by you know, what's hot this week. Uh, what's the fast mover? What's rising up the charts? It's really like, uh, like YouTube meets Billboard uh, in the Guitar Hero uh, universe. I'm not connected online, so I can't show you right now, but it's really cool. So, you know, I think the last thing I'm going to show you here today uh, is uh, our rock star creator. So, let me just load into it here. So we still have all the characters from the past Guitar Hero games. We've even added a few from earlier Guitar Hero games. Um, but, but the big addition this year is the, um, the Rockstar Creator. So I can go in. I can pick a female. I can go in and, um, you know, obviously I can pick her genre. We have full, um, full facial, like, facial sculpting here. So I can, it's kind of funny, I can make her older. You know, I can change her normal maps on her face. I can go in and change the shape of her face, of her head. Uh, her nose, her mouth, her eyes, I mean, all that bone sculpting stuff is available. It's here. You can really make uh, the rock star that you want. There you see the face paint. That's using the similar uh, layered uh, graphic system that I mentioned about the, uh, the album covers. Uh, and last but not least, there's the instrument creator. We have got a full-on customiz uh, customizable editor for guitars um, and uh, drums and microphones and basses. So everything's, everything's customizable, all the body styles, finish, details, graphics. Um, it just loaded up a random guitar. We've got a randomizer, fretboards, inlays. I mean, everything's customizable. So you can really go online. You can play you know, with the character you wanted to make um, online. And you know, we, have band, we have Battle of the Bands online. You can take your character with your guitar, go online, do Battle of the Bands. Battle of the Bands is a big thing because you, know, you can basically play, even band career mode, you can play a couple guys at home with you, and a couple of pickups from online. Those guys jet, your friends come over, they can join the band. You can like kind of, it's kind of this amorphous thing. You start off with just two guys at home, you can grow to four online, and go back to you know, just yourself with three pickups. Uh, Flexibility is there, as well as Battle of the Bands, which is four versus four online. Those can be any combination of local or uh, remote uh, players. <laughs>